So um, this is the fourth video uh, and we're looking at option Greeks and parameter sensitivities and I have the Wikipedia page open looking at calls and puts and the respective Greeks uh, that estimate the effect of a change in the value of the option with respect to this underlying asset value, the change in the value of the option with respect to change in volatility change in the value of the option with respect to change in time decay with, it, with respect to change in interest rates and then the second order uh, derivative the effect of delta the effect of delta with respect to change in the value of the underlying okay so um, <clears throat> We can previously I investigated using an example from John C. Hall. I looked at a given set of parameter values, worked out the val value of delta, worked out the value of gamma, estimated probability density function using this formula here worked out the value of vega which is the effect of a change in the value the change in the value of the call caused by the change in the value of volatility or by changing the volatility parameter theta and rho Okay, so these are values that have been estimated and I'd like to set up in Excel, just introduce an Excel formula to correspond with what we have here and produce the same values. Okay, so now I'll go into Dropbox where I have some uh, code written up that basically so v, so essentially what I have is VBA code where I worked out a value of an option so we could look at that, that VBA code probably a bit more closely um, I've set out uh, the estimation uh, working out the value of Greeks, the option Greeks for both calls and puts and um, I've estimated D1 and D2 separately the probability density function and I've estimated the value of the call Black Scholes Merton call uh, by calling up D1 and D2 um, which are pre-written here the value of the put Delta uh, for the call, delta for the put, and likewise, and rho, theta, vega. And these are all in line with the option formula that are set out here. So it's the Black Scholes formula and then Black Scholes Greeks. Okay, and If we go back to the Black Scholes Greeks for a moment, could we verify using the estimations that we have here? Could we ver verify the results from the whole uh, text? Okay, so we have let's say okay what if we knew the parameter inputs copy and we back went back into the spreadsheet and we pasted those values so we can get rid of code for a second let's paste home paste the parameter inputs so we're saying again the value of 
one yen was 0 0.8 cent. So we're saying 0 0.8, 0 0.81 for the exercise. That the time period was, although it's not here, seven months. So that would be equal to seven divided by divided by 12. That the risk free rate, so this is R and RF, Q becomes RF and V. So R, the risk free rate in the local currency in US dollars was 8%. The risk free rate in the foreign currency, uh, yen, 0 0.05, and the volatility was 15%. Okay, now we've made an estimate here of the value of the option that we didn't have here, right? But we did work out D1 and D2, and we worked out delta, and that's 0 0.5250. And that's the same as 52, close enough. Okay. The value of gamma, let's check that. The value of gamma is down is 4.206. 4.206, okay, close enough. The value for Vega, 0.23. Zero point two three five five. The value for theta zero point zero three nine nine. Zero point zero three nine eight. But would round to nine, so close enough. And rho zero point two two three one. 0 0.2231 okay so it looks as if this code is good let's have a look at the code for a moment um the code is vba code it takes skt so the stock price the exercise or the value of the asset in this case uh, the exercise the time period this R here is the risk-free rate. Q denotes the, the dividend yield. But in terms of the example just done, it rep comes, to re it comes to represent the risk-free rate in the foreign currency. So if you like the income yield generated by holding yen, and V here is the sigma. V denotes the volatility for the return. If we go back into the spreadsheet, we can just paste in just to uh, look at the sequence. Instead of RF here, we have Q. We're taking the RF to be just a yield on holding the particular asset. Okay. So if we copy this, actually we can just copy I wrote two functions for gamma, one just to check against the other, and both came up the same. Uh, if I take that, paste, copy, and go back in, and, and just paste here, so we'll just paste special. There's a picture. So that's nothing more than just a picture here, and we can check that for row we're getting the same row that we we're getting the same theta so theta is the same as here that we're getting the same vega so vega is 0 0.2355 and so on uh, gamma is the same 
gamma four two five nine four two zero six but would round to be the same thing and that for delta also the same value so the the estimation that we've done here using the example from uh hull uh is tallies with that from the vba code so i'm relatively happy that the vba code is is uh, is correct and it's working properly